Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau had a flamboyant persona, but he was also a fiercely disciplined politician. Hi, I'm Alex Leduc and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we're speaking with biographer John English to learn more about Trudeau's life behind the scenes and how it affected his politics. What were his biggest personal frustrations or any flaws he was never able to overcome? He was very troubled with the death of Laporte. Uh, Pierre Laporte was assassinated. He was with Margaret Trudeau. They were not yet married, but she was staying with him at 24 Sussex. She uh, saw him just fall apart and go into tears. But those who worked with him said that he did seem very steely and he seemed to have that capacity. He was being challenged and he loved challenges and he was going to stand up for them. Hence the just watch me in response to a CBC reporter. It's more important to keep law and order in this society than to uh, uh, be worried about uh, weak-kneed people who uh, don't like the looks of, uh, of a At, at any feminine. cost? At any cost? How far would you go with that? How far would you extend that? Well, just watch me. I think in terms of weaknesses, probably his relationships with women. He couldn't seem to establish the kind of intimacy that would lead to the partnership which represents marriage. So in his later life, he often described himself as unhappy. The other thing he was unhappy with was the direction of Canada after he left office. That's probably true of every prime minister. But he was unhappy that uh, the government of Quebec under Brossard particularly and Brian Mulroney went towards opening up, as he called it, the Constitution. What surprised you most in all of your research, and what's going to surprise readers? One would be that how disciplined and hardworking he was as a Prime Minister. You had the impression he was a bit of a playboy. And there were periods where he took off, you know, to a disco in New York, irresponsibly ignored the party. But in reality, this is a very serious, hardworking and smart politician. He knew when to go for the jugular. He was a pretty tough. The other thing I think is his private life and the intersection of his private life and his public life. He didn't have an election in 1977, but he would have won overwhelmingly because of his marriage breakdown. That's why. You did not write in your book about an affair with Jordan's King Hussein that was written in the newspaper. Well, I never had an affair with uh, Jordan's King Hussein. Similarly, I think his closest confidants were his female companions, and they tended in the 80s to be Andy Reagan and Andy Thatcher, and I think it made him uh, more determined to be so, those instincts would have been in that direction in any event. Much was said when you published the first book about Trudeau's relationship with Catholicism. How did his religion affect him when he was Prime Minister and in his later years? He remains what we would call a liberal Catholic and a political Catholic like Kennedy that uh, although I am a believer, I'm saying what they would say, and I am a Catholic, uh, that will not affect my approach to public policy where I'm going to be the Prime Minister of all Canadians, not simply Roman Catholic Canadians. He was angry with the Church for talking out about economic policy in the 80s when they were very critical of his policies, which tended in some ways to be a little bit conservative. But he, uh, he went to church and after he left office he took part in retreats and uh, lost his faith it seems when Michel died, as father often would I think. But then of course he died a Catholic in a a ceremony that was fully within the tradition of the Roman Catholic Church. Well, thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me.